Hi, welcome back to Crossfader. My name is Jamie Hartley, and in today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at the Recordbox DJ software. In particular, how to show various key notations in the software so that when it comes to mixing in key, it makes your life a lot easier. And just a few more tips around all the key settings that are available within Recordbox DJ. Now, if you don't have a clue what mixing in key is, then click the link to go to our article where we explain the theory around it. Please remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff to help us keep making more tips and tricks like this. Let's get stuck in. It's well worth understanding what mixing in key actually is and the theory behind it before trying to apply it in your DJ sets. We've got a whole article on exactly what it is to explain the theory behind it, so click the link if you don't have a clue what mixing in key is. But once you understand, now let's look in the record box software at firstly how to analyze the keys and then how to find tracks that will match and mix in key. First of all, make sure that in your Recordbox settings, the preferences panel here, under the analysis tab, you have the key setting ticked on track analysis setting. You will then want to make sure that in the view tab, if we scroll down, we've got the key display format. You'll want to make sure that this is in alphanumeric. You can have it in classic. However, I would recommend definitely as a beginner as well, having it in alphanumeric. This makes life a lot easier and simpler to understand. Now, if we click off this, you may or may not see a key column in your library. So mine is here, and we can sort by ascending or descending. You can drag this left and right. Now, if you can't see this column, then right click on any column header that you can see, and you'll get all these options. You'll find keys somewhere in these options, and just make sure you tick it for it to show up. What will happen if it isn't already showing is it will add it to the end of the columns, and you want to drag it to a point where you can see it and it's there because it's one of the main things you're going to be using. Now, you'll see that it shows 11A, 1A, 4A, 6A, and if you read our article, you'll understand what these key notations equate to or why they're useful. Now, the last thing really that you need to do is to tick this here. There is a drop down, and you can choose deck one, deck two, deck three, deck four, but I'd recommend leaving it on the master. So now what happens is when we load a song in to play, if we hit play on that song, you'll notice that the master gets checked here. If I load another song in, if I stop and play this one, it automatically knocks it over to the master on the opposite side. This is an automatic process so that when you're mixing, whichever the main tune that's playing, it recognizes that as the master song. Then in your library, it will highlight green in the key column, any other songs that should theoretically mix in key with the master deck. Like I said, you can choose different decks, so I could force it to analyze deck one, and it will show the tracks that will mix in key with deck one. But I think keeping on the master works well. So when you're mixing live, this track's playing, you've now got the option of either this one or this one that will theoretically mix in key. You could then load that track and off you go into the mix. One more thing to mention about mixing in key is if you do want to mix another song that doesn't theoretically mix in key with the master deck, let's say for example, we load in this song. Now these don't mix in key, but we do have an option in Recordbox to pitch the key up and down using these arrow buttons. And what will happen is it will turn blue if the keys match or will mix together. As you can see there, one semitone up, and these now should mix in key. Some tracks, however, you've got to be careful because if it's too far away, you might end up pitching the track by way too much and it's going to sound pretty much unnatural instead of like this. So some tracks work better than others. Always try go up or down because there you can see one semitone down is much closer to the original than four semitones up. You can also hit that key sync button and it will find the closest um, pitch or adjustment to the opposite side. When key sync is active, whenever you load another song in, it will also try to key sync that. So just be careful when you load new tracks that you haven't got key sync on and it's just pitching them up drastically by four or five semitones. When all said and done, you can just hit the key reset button here and here, and that will take them back to normal and turn off the key sync mode. And there you have it. That's a quick tip that's super essential for any beginner DJs. 
Remember, if you want to learn more tips and tricks like this, check out our online DJ courses specifically for Rekordbox. Just click the link and you can head over to that page and check out what they're all about. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in another tips video like this very soon.